Hi everyone, nice to meet you. I am Celine and I will be helping Sam from now on. You'll start to see me on some of his videos and hopefully I can help with the more techie side of things. I'm gonna show you the tools that I use to create not only my own clone avatar and voice, but my digital assistant. And then I'm gonna show you my workflow for cloning myself with perfect gestures and mannerism and also how to clone my voice or your own voice and then how I do this with my digital avatar. Because there is a couple of ways to do it with different results depending on what you can kind of do or what you're willing to do. I use a platform called Fal AI and I use it a lot. And what I like about this platform is that it has a lot of the AI engines out there and you pay as you go. And the one that I use for this image is Flax Pro Context, okay? And it's very simple. I come to an avatar that I generated so let's say this is the one. So I input that as a reference image. And I'm gonna create two images here, okay? One with a smile and one without a smile, okay? And this is gonna be something that is gonna be very clear later in the process when we come to create the avatar. There is no need to put more. Let's see what the AI comes up with. I want it to be 16 by nine and I want to create two images and then I run it. And as you can clearly see, this request is gonna cost me $0.04 per image. And as you can clearly see, I have $7.44, not, not a lot. And I, that's actually not bad. I, I can work with that. Okay, I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna create another one where relax and smiling. And I'm gonna create another two. So that's that's nice. Okay, so, okay, well, I could spend a little bit more time refining, but I think that's okay. One thing that is very, very important, okay, and is this next step, okay, because a lot of these images that these AI engines create are in low resolution, 720p, 1080p. So I used a program called Topaz Photo AI. So I bring my image that has just been downloaded. And as you can clearly see, this is not very good quality, okay? So let's just open this image. It's gonna scan it quickly. So I'm gonna recover the face and then upscale it. Nothing more. Okay, so it's enhanced. So look at the difference between that and that how much crispy and sharp everything looks, okay? So I'm happy with that. Export this image. We're gonna call her Margot Avatar. No smart. There you go. Close image. We don't need to save it. And I'm gonna bring the other image now. Same thing. We're just gonna recover the face and upscale her. The difference is absolutely insane. The next step is to actually give Margot a voice, okay? So for that, we're gonna use 11 Labs. This is, in my opinion, the best platform for this type of work, okay? I have the basic package, the creator package, $22 a month, and it works really well. There are two ways to go about this. You can create a voice, you can clone your own voice, which is something that I have done. I have cloned my voice, or you can create a new voice altogether. Now, when you clone your voice for safety and security purposes, you have to read a few prompts out loud onto a computer. So there is some safety checks for obvious reasons. Now, when you create a voice, which is what we're gonna do now, you just prompt the type of voice that you want and 11 Labs is gonna give you different options and then you choose the one you like. But for the purpose of what we're trying to do now with Margot, we're just gonna voice design it, okay? So we're just gonna create this and obviously I don't want a male voice. I want a female friendly voice mid 20s there you go let's so let's just generate the voice and let's see what uh, 11 labs comes up with hi there it's so nice to see you i hope you're having an amazing day 
I select that voice and I'm gonna call it Margot AI Avatar AI and yeah we we'll save it like that okay so now the next step is to do the AI avatar okay now this is where the images that I abreast come in handy and also there are two ways to go about this okay the old way which in my opinion is the better way but also cheaper but requires a lot more work or I wouldn't say a lot more work, but it requires more work and the new way. And then it's down to each person because for some, the new way is probably the best, for others, the old way. Especially if you clone yourself. If you clone yourself, you're going to have to go the old way. The first way is the classic one, the old way, okay? So you would basically create your own avatar. As you can clearly see in the screen, I have about 10 of my own different avatars, okay? Now, to do this, what you need to do is you need to follow Hagen's instructions, which obviously are very simple, but the key here is to record yourself three to five minutes talking to camera and not getting interrupted. Anything that comes to mind, okay? Anything, it could be the food shopping, it could be taking your kids to school, it could be how pointless you feel this exercise is. Doesn't matter. What Hagen wants to do is he wants to record every now and then how your mouth moves and how you stop. So every 30 seconds you stop a sentence and you close your mouth because that's what Hagen needs to create their avatars and also the body movement, the hand gestures. And my recommendation is that if you do this, don't do too extreme or too expressive. Don't be too expressive because for instance, if you're recording something like, I was so passionate about this and you are too expressive, that's what Hagen is going to be using to create an avatar. And then you might be talking about, I don't know, cooking an omelette. And then suddenly if you start talking about how to crack an egg and Put it on that pan and then you start doing this it's just gonna look really odd and unnatural movements like this as i'm doing now are fine nothing too extreme so that they're fairly universal in my case i already have all these avatars so i just take this one for instance it's gonna appear here going back to 11 laps you can go text to speech and input your audio so let's say that i'm gonna do something i say hi this is sam and this is my AI clone voice. Okay, so that's me. And I come here and search for my voice. There you go. And I'm just gonna generate the speech. Hi, this is Sam, and this is my AI clone voice for this video. Can you tell the difference between my AI clone and myself? Let me know. Okay, so that sounds really good. So I'm just gonna download this. Created a AI voice. Within a couple of seconds, it's gonna upload it and I'm just gonna press submit, just like that. This is gonna appear here within a couple of minutes. Hi, this is Sam and this is my AI clone voice for this video. Can you tell the difference between my AI clone and myself? Let me know. So this is one way to go about this, okay? Now, the other way to go about this, doing something very similar is to create an avatar, but based on an image. I'm going to show you the difference between creating this type of avatar on Heijin when the first frame is a smile and when the first frame is not a smile. So I'm just going to upload the two that I just created. So, and for the voice, let's just say, So that's fine. And now I'm gonna look for, there you go, Margot Avatar AI and regenerate. Hi, this is Margot, Samuel's new digital assistant. It's so nice to meet you all. I look forward to seeing you all around. Okay, that sounds good to me. We're gonna come to Heijen and upload the audio. Okay, so there you go. Hi, this is Margot, Samuel's new digital assistant. Okay, so we're gonna press submit. All right, so that's one, and we're gonna create exactly the same, but this time we're gonna use this other image because Heijin needs the first frame to be a closed mouth 
and it will recreate the smile with perfect teeth. If your first frame is a smile, that's what Hagen thinks is a closed mouth, and then it's gonna create an even bigger smile on top, and it's gonna look really unnatural. Let me show you, this is without the smile. Hi, this is Margot, Samuel's new digital assistant. It's so nice to meet you all. I look forward to seeing you all around. Look how unnatural this looks now. Hi, this is Margot, Samuel's new digital assistant. It's so nice to meet you all. I look forward to seeing you all around. Let me show you a couple of other examples so that you can see for yourself. Okay, so this is a first frame with a smile. Hi everyone, nice to meet you. I am Celine and I will be helping Sam from now on. And this one that I'm gonna show you here is an image that the first frame has no smile. So look how much natural the mouth moves and the teeth, okay? Hi everyone, nice to meet you. I am Celine and I will be helping Sam from now on. And this is how you used to do the avatars with Heijin, okay, the old way. And you have pretty much unlimited number of videos, whether it is cloning yourself with video or using an image. Now, I prefer to clone myself with a video because obviously you get a lot of your mannerisms and gestures, but a lot of the times you might not even want to do it. You can't be bothered to do it. So you just take a photo or a screen grab from a video, up-res it on Topaz and you create your avatar. The AI avatars that I have created in the past, they're great. I mean, Look at this. I shot a multi-million property real estate video on a DJI Pocket 3 to prove the point. That looks to me amazing. And yes, you're gonna download it in 1080p and it's gonna look a bit soft. I use DaVinci Resolve and all I have to do is just take the upscale and the image looks like it was shot on 4K. And I've shot the entire videos with my own avatar and nobody has made a comment. Sometimes I've repurposed content. I have two or three different videos and I needed something to join them together so that it makes sense that you go from the end of one video to the beginning of the next. Hayden has a new way of doing avatars, okay? And it's called Hayden Avatar 4. And all you need is an image. The difference is that even if you have the starting point as a smile, the AI engine is able to understand that that's not a closed mouth and the animation actually looks much better. You can type the text and then select the voice. And I have integrated uh, 11 labs here. So I got Margot Avatar AI Final. I've got it there. And if I now come to my voices, I have Margot Avatar there and 1080p and generate video. Obviously, this is going to be much better. It's going to be much more expressive. And even the background might have movement, which is amazing. The downside of this is that you only get five minutes a month. And I'm sure that as months go by, this number of minutes is going to grow because Heijing is going to have to compete against other platforms offering something similar. Otherwise, they're going to lose the business. I recently created a podcast type of video where I interviewed ChatGPT about the future of content creation and AI video generation. I uploaded the audio and the animation on Hayden Avatar 4 and look at this. The disruption is real and it's coming fast. The introduction of powerful AI video generation models will undoubtedly change the industry landscape. In past generations of this avatar creation, even though the eyebrows were moving and the mouth, you could see that it was digital, okay? But look how much naturally it looks now. While automation will reshape the landscape, it won't eliminate the need for human involvement. It's so much more expressive, isn't it? So this is the old way with an image starting with a smile. So the first frame is a smile. Look at her mouth. Hi, this is Margot, Samuel's new digital assistant. It's so nice to meet you all. <laughs> that looks so unnatural. But look at the new one with Hagen 4. Hi, this is Margot, Samuel's new digital assistant. It's so nice to meet you all. I look forward to seeing you all around. Did you see how much better this is? Let me show you a couple more examples, okay? So I created this one with, again, the first frame with was a smile, okay? Nice to meet you. I am Celine, and I will be helping Sam from now on. So that looks laughable. And the first shot was a smile. But look when I use the Hagen 4. Look how much natural 
This is. Hi everyone, nice to meet you. I am Celine and I will be helping Sam from now on. And did you see the background? It also moved, it was animated. This is a technology that is already available now. And I leave links for everything in the comments below for Heijen, for 11 Labs, the affiliate links. So if you click on them and you sign up to them, I'll get a small kickback. So if you do that, thank you very much because it helps the channel. And hopefully you've learned something in this video that can get your creativity going because this technology is here and it's only gonna get better, faster and more efficient. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And do let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more videos about AI video and different engines, because I've been working on this for a number of months. And what you can do is absolutely insane. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.